Hello everyone, my name is Dogfree and welcome back to another Redstone video. Behind me you see one of the flag machine doors that is inside our base. Kapfen built one in season 7 as well, but the original design is by Kiem Plant. And the video is of course in the description. But this store inspired me to try to design my own flying machine door. And it's a horizontal flying machine door. I cannot show you exactly how this one works because this door leads to our treasure room and it's a secret how this door opens. But I will build two versions of the store in a creative board, so the wall download and the two schematics are gonna be in the description below. And yes, let's talk about it a little bit. I won't do a block for block tutorial because it's like uh, kind of boring and I assume that people that build such machines just get the schematic or the wall download. But if anyone needs one, just comment down below that you want a block for block tutorial, then I will do one. But yeah, we have two different kinds of the store. It's an 18 by 18 door. And yes, you might be wondering why there's a gap in the middle. It's because I didn't want any honey blocks or slime blocks be showing in the middle when the door is open. That's why I choose this design. And yeah, it's built with two flying machines that move to each side and opens the store. So let's try the door that is built exactly like this just with a different opening system in our treasure room very nice and also the second design which opens the door not at the same time so the flying machines start flying one after another Also very cool. So this is like a similar design what Kian Plan did with his vertical flying machine door. The main difference is the way how you trigger the flying machines to move to each side. But let's talk about it later. Let's concentrate on the basics. So the basic idea is that you have a pretty normal flying machine, right? And you stick some blocks onto it and you already have a door. But there is a problem. You can power this piston, with, uh, which I do in here with the setup where our observer sees a redstone dust being powered. Then the sticky piston moves this observer and this observer powers the sticky piston here and the machine starts flying in the middle. But if the door is closed and you want to move the flying machine back, you have to power this piston. And there's the problem because I didn't want to have anything in here that's why you add a next module in here which pulls and pushes the front part and also allows us to attach more blocks which makes the door 18 wide it can be longer but it's 18 wide in this particular design so the way the door is closing you power this piston and shortly after this you power this array of pistons which show the observer as an arrow block it can be any block yeah but it's uh, made giving the observer uh, um, yeah something to look at <laughs> yeah an update and then the sticky piston fires and the second half of the machine moves to the middle so if we watch this this does nothing, then this one powers that piston and this got moved into the middle and this part looks exactly the same. Yes, you can see it even better here because the uh, pistons get uh, launched one after another, right? And if you want to send it back, you only need one machine for that because this machine starts flying and will pull those two so you have to power this one and that's why you have two arrays of six pistons observers on it to power the pistons depending on if the door is closed or open and we have also different timings on that so if you want to close it 
this piston or open it, this piston will um, fire up, the observer will power this piston and the machine starts flying and this array does nothing and also this array does nothing. But if you want to close it, this does nothing, but this and this does. That's basically how it works. It's uh, quite easy. And the only tip I have for you when you are rebuilding a flying machine to save you some trouble, always build the block first that the observer will be watching before placing the observer. You don't want to rebuild such a big flying machine contraption several times, don't you? So yeah, while building, place the blocks first, then place the observers, right? Uh, for example, like here, first please place the redstone dust and then the observers on top. It will make your life way easier and it's a universal tip for building flying machines. It makes everything easier. So I hope you enjoyed the short redstone video. I am very pleased with my very first flying machine door that I designed myself. It fits my needs perfectly and I hope some of you will rebuild it in their world. And see you next time. Bye bye.